Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial. The, I guess I made like 16 attempts, so I'm not really good at this today. Um, so I'm going to show you the, the S list and what it is good for, why it is important. And I will just give you a brief explanation, the most useful functions and therefore um, how you can actually use it. And then next give a practical application, which I just do in my own game. So this is for unlockables, but this will be purely abstract because, well, I'm gonna show the, you the whole code because this is way too complex, but just give you a little peek inside. So if you want to know that, stay tuned. This is one up Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and to be released Office Org and I am a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel and share my stuff if you can. So let's get right into the definitely good stuff here, which are the S list. So let's kill all that stuff because we don't need it now. And for example, if you are saving some stuff, then the First basic approach is just having a variable, which you can call whatever you like. And then for example, you save a string or a number. And then of course you have this bluish color, easy peasy, or maybe you do with an array, call it whatever you like, give it an index point. So at the point of array, as you do this, zero you have the information of one easy peasy but maybe you want some advanced data structures and you want to understand how they work because you want to do something with the list because this is what a ds list is all about ds stands for data structure and then the other one's list so i guess you can understand where i'm going with this at least i hope so well um so let's start, for example, with a DS list, how you actually can set it up. So you just go DS list and then you go create, bam, and then you created it. But because you maybe want to have a little bit more control over it, because, well, that wouldn't be, uh, that would be kind of useful in my opinion. And therefore, you just store it in a variable and then you can actually do something with it. And what can you do? You just go DS list. This is the most common thing, add. And adding a value is just quite easy. You just give it in the ID. The ID is of the list where you want to put in your stuff and then the value. And the value again can be a string or it can be a number. No, 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 come on. Let's go for 33 because why not? And now as you can see, you have now a list created, which is empty. And then you have entry zero and entry one. And maybe you want to read out and therefore you just go for the S list size. So no, not size, the S list find. And then you go for value. And as you can see, you have two options. You can find the index or the value on if you, for example, go for value, then it again asks you for which DS list do we want to check out and then the position. And this is position zero, this is position one. So for example, if you put in one, copy that whole thing and just, I don't know, draw it as text. So here, this is just so you can see the actually in here, this is just draw text. Then we put it into the room, run it. And here I just put it in, then you will see that it will draw, draw <laughs> 33. So this is on the position one. So this is the second entry. You get the value which is inside, but maybe you want to do it the other way around. You just say, hey, DS list, find, and then index, and then you go again, what do we want? Well, we want to go through the our new DS list and then maybe you are looking for a value which is 
this guy here so what is this thing doing here it's just checking hey what kind of position has my value so once again let's put it in here start the game and then it will return not the value but the position in the ds list and it says zero read as intended so this is the zero position this is one and so on and maybe you want to clear that ds list just go for clear sweet and then once you do that bam you kill it and then those two ent entries are gone or for example you say ds list what is it amount or where is it index clear delete insert uh, empty okay let's check this one out let's see size ah here we go so maybe this is the other one which is kind of important because what this thing is doing is just checking hey how big is actually my ds list and this guy if you put it in will return to why will it return to because we have two entries one and two if there's nothing inside it would return zero so these are the in my opinion the most frequent things you can use of course you can reshuffle put in some other stuff but eh, we won't be using that and let's go into a more practical application if you just wanted to know the basics we are done here good night but if you want to see a little bit more then we for example go into garbage yeah let's go into no not garbage food no didn't i do that ooh, 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 ooh. okay so quite easy thing so for example i have a few unlockables in my game and therefore i have a ds list which um which is just stored in object control because this is the thing which is always there and then i have a ds list which i call ds list let's say a holding stuff or gear so let's go for holding stuff so because uh, my the orcs can actually carry some weapons which can be a sword a spear an axe and hammer and so on so what i'm doing every time you clear a level and you unlock some stuff i need to reset all my stuff because i want to refresh my list of things which are being unlocked and therefore i just um well after the level i just say hey this position thought let's say let's say position two three four five whatever i have as you can see 10 unlockable thought and for example on one position maybe i un unlocked like the big sword or whatever and therefore it has now a value of one if not then it has a value of zero and this is just indicating for me hey i have an array which i can actually show so let's go in here where do we have it headgear holding stuff holding stuff as you can see i have my arrays here and this is just checking hey on the position zero so this is position one position three this one is just checking are you unlocked what kind of name do you have this is great for just later on checking and reading out the um the name of it which are those cards and then maybe some quality and so on therefore the s lists are kind of interesting because what i just do i re once again reset all my gear which can be hold and then i go through all the positions which are theoretically possible and for example i'm just checking hey is this array one no nope. is the next array let's say one no is the next array on position two no nope. and maybe one is true because i unlocked it then i add it to my list and then i have it in my list inside and for example this ds list is being read later on during the game because i do some randomized stuff and then but well, they these things can drop in the levels and therefore bam this is the practical application there's another one for multiple collisions there is a ds list as well i guess i did that in another video when was it ah the advanced lasers so there you can find another practical application 
for good question what could i else use it for i don't know maybe a safe system i am not sure now but this is one of the practical applications so this is how you can randomize some stuff you create the s lists and maybe you discard them later on because you just want to give uh, quickly need a data structure fill it up with some stuff get some random stuff kill the temporal um, data structure and just continue your day so this is one of the things you can actually do and we are done hopefully i didn't confuse you too much have a good one one up indeed